Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to the Excel tutorial. Today we will be learning about how to insert a chart in your Excel sheet based on the data. So uh, before we start off, I want to show you this is how uh, our chart will look like. We will be inserting a line chart and a cluster chart in our, in our Excel sheet and this is how it's going to look when we're done uh, inserting with it. So if you're interested in learning how to do it, please keep watching this video. And if you like how it turns out, please do uh, um, click the like button in the end. So let's start off. Here I have data of population of Pakistan from uh, which I pulled from the web. And I let's say I want to make a, a line chart based on these two columns that I have just selected. So before I start showing you how to insert it, it's important to identify which columns you want or which data you want to uh, use for creating your charts. That's the first step of inserting a chart even before inserting it. So I have identified that column B and C will be the ones that I need to show on my line chart. So uh, let's see how we can do it. I'll go to the insert ribbon over here and uh, I'll, I'll be showing you an easier way of uh, inserting an instant chart instead of uh, you have a lot of options over here where you can uh, select different type of charts. So if you have already selected your data, I'll, uh, I'll recommend you go to the recommended charts over here. Excel will give you an overview of how your data would look like based on the information you've just selected. So you can choose from the list of uh, charts that's already available and uh, you can use them for uh, showing your data as you need. So you will you will be uh, getting an immediate review or preview of your uh, chart even before inserting. So let's say I have selected this line chart. I click OK and immediately this is inserted as a plain chart in my sheet. So another good thing is to always try to make sure that our sheet looks neat and clean and professional whenever you're making it. So what I usually do is I make sure that the visual representation of the chart is equal to the data that's displayed above it. So that will make sure it's not always necessary. If you have a large amount of data, then you can use a separate sheet for displaying the chart from one sheet. So that's one way of doing it. This is in case you're using the same sheet to display the data. So over here, I have the line chart inserted. Now it's looking very, uh, very, I would say, pale kind of thing. So it's very um, empty at the moment. So let's uh, populate it a bit. So I right click on the line and immediately I have a few options available here. So I want to show data labels. Now data labels mean that you what data is being represented at which point in the line. So I go over here and I select there are two options to select over here, either data lab labels or data call-outs. So let's see what each, each one of them does. I select data labels, so immediately my data is displayed uh, on the points where they are being represented or matching with the population uh, represented on my y-axis. Let's undo this and I select the call-outs. I personally prefer the callouts because uh, you can move them around. You can also move the data as well. You can see that it's uh, as soon as I select it, it's showing me how to plot the data. In callouts, you know, you can um, move them around. It will give you a certain good visual of your values. And uh, one more thing you can see, it's showing the y, uh, the x-axis value with a comma 
and then the population just to uh, remove the confusion since both of these are numbers let me select this label right click on it and I format data labels so over here you can see the options that uh, it's presenting me it's uh, it's asking me what to show uh, when a label is displayed so you can see uh, a lot of options one is the value value is basically wh which value is being represented so it's one thing that I want to see category name is uh, the the name that I have on my x-axis which is the horizontal axis right here so since I already see I can see it easily so it's not necessary for me to show it you can select the series name which is population right now and there are a lot of other options so you can select the leader nines which basically is a kind of a call out itself so you've already selected uh, the call out so no need to do that and you can also select the position where you are showing these labels so there are the options selected for line so over here now we have uh, created the success uh, we have successfully created the line chart one more thing that I just want to show you if you want to format this line you want to show it in a specific color if you select it you can see the options over here you can change the colors from here as well or there's a option shows shown over here you select color there are multicolor options over here and monochromatic colors over here let's say I want to select green color and there we have it we have a populated line chart over here which we wanted to make earlier so this part of the video uh, we covered the line chart insertion in our excel sheet now we move on to the second part of the video where we'll learn how to insert a cluster chart we'll use the same data that we have right now and we will again select this we again select this column go to the insert tab and this time round I will select the line and bar chart combo this is called the clustered line chart so I select this now oh, I'll format it later let me just align my sheet and I move this to align it with the table like I did for the line chart this is something just I just am used to doing so it's not necessary you do it it's uh, it's your call so what do we have it over here so first thing in a combo chart you have to re you have to name your chart let's say I I write this down now let's understand what are we seeing on the left hand side on our y-axis we can see the years starting from 2012 up till 2021 on the right hand side of the y-axis are the populations and on the x-axis is showing how many values uh, we have over here so we since we have uh, one two three four five six rows so it's showing a value for each one of them so you can see the legend in the bottom of the page is showing a uh, the year highlighted in uh, or uh, specified in blue and population is showing it so it's a combo of a line and bar chart so let's uh, do what we did for line chart as well let's right click on the line 
add the data labels. I'll go for the callouts once more. That's my favorite ones. And I will also right click and format the data labels just to remove the confusion. I remove the category name because it's creating a kind of a confusion in the value. So we need to make sure that whenever we're displaying the data in chart, we need to make sure it's very crystal clear and it isn't showing any ambiguous information. So if you see, if I include the category name, it can be uh, perceived as uh, part of the value itself. So it, it may be, uh, you know, increasing the population by 10 volts. So let's remove something that uh, can create issues and only show the value or maybe the series name. You can show it like so. So it's going to show population uh, in the year. So this is how you uh, format the table. Uh, sorry, format the chart, uh, which is a cluster chart. And uh, we have now successfully created both of the charts, the line chart and the cluster chart in today's video. So if you found this uh, video helpful in creating in ch or inserting charts, please do click on the like button. And uh, if you have any questions or you need to ask something uh, about this video or any other uh, chart that you want to insert in your Excel sheet, please drop a message in the comments uh, section. And uh, if you have uh, your, you want to ask something uh, individually, please drop an email on the email address specified in the description of uh, this video. And you can, uh, uh, I'll be more than uh, glad to help you out for your query. And uh, I'll try to, uh, you know, address if you want uh, any help. So until our next video, please take care and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We keep posting uh, new videos every now and then. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, in case uh, some of those videos will cover your, cover your queries or will help you out when, when you're working on your own uh, Excel sheets. So until our next video, take care and Allah Hafiz.